Good night, everybody. How are you? <laughs> hello, Isa. Hello, Claudia. Hello, Maria. Wow, today's girls' night? We only have baby girls today? That's amazing. Woohoo. I like that. I like what that happens. It will be girls' day. Woohoo. How's your day going, girls? So far, so good? Isa? Eating another cookie? <laughs> Oh, now it's more it's healthier, right? Yes, it's true. <laughs> Yesterday, it was a day that you could basically um pamper yourself. <laughs> so, you know what that means? Pamper yourself? I don't know. <laughs> pamper yourself. Is, right? Temperamento. No. Temperament is, ah. is, is what we use to cover baby butts. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, for pampers, we use it for babies, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, when you said pamper yourself, is that you're treating yourself you as a baby? Do it every, mm. every like in Spanish, <laughs> consentirte un poquito. Mm. Oh, uh -huh. so new words example, for me. <laughs> so for example, when it's raining a lot, it's really nice, right, to go back to sleep and and listen and feel the rainy, right? Especially because it makes you feel relaxed, but at the same time, the weather is much better because it's fresh, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you like to sleep with rain, but in my case I do, because it makes me feel relaxed. So yes. when, when you can say, for example, the rain pampers you, because the rain treats you like a baby. It makes you fall asleep deeply, like if you were a baby. So you see, now you learn a new vocabulary: pamper. Thank you, teacher. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh my God! You know what? No more ladies' night. Because we got Mr. Alex and Mr. David and Natalie. All righty. God, no. You know what? I was happy, guys, that we were only baby girls here, but you up here, so that's okay. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, babies. Hello. How are you? Hey, hey, you know what? David and Alex are wearing similar t shirt colors. Yeah. I don't know if I'm blind. But I can see that, um, are they navy blue color or no? Or they're black? Mine is, is blue. Yours is blue. What about Alex? Alex, is, is your teacher is blue? Blue marine. Ah, you see, you see. All right, the teacher was not blind at all. Okay, awesome. Guys, how was your day going? So far, is it good? Yeah, kind of. A little bit stressed. A little bit tired. Yeah, maybe, right? But you're here. I'm happy about it. I'm just, 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 just happen. Hey, tell me, guys, what date is today, by the way? I forgot. Who can help me with that? Thank you, David. You are so nice. You always are willing to participate. Like, what? <laughs> hey, what date is today, my sir? My man. Uh huh. Today what is, date is Thursday. Today? Today is Thursday. Thursday, what? Uh huh. Thursday, what? <gasps> Seven. Uh huh. <laughs> Thursday, what? Uh huh. <laughs> December, what? December 7th. Uh huh. And then? <clears throat> and the year? Very good. Now, do me a favor. Could you please be so kind to write it on the chat? If you don't mind. I, teacher, I'm sorry. I know that. I know that you love me. I love you too. But don't take the whole class, okay? <laughs> just me. I'm just teasing you, David. Okay, pay attention, guys. David is going to write today's date. Dun, 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 dun. 
On the on the Zoom chat, not in the WhatsApp chat, just to let you know. Almost, almost perfect. Except for two things. Guys, help David. He's almost writing down the date perfect, almost. But he's adding extra information that we don't need and he's missing one thing. Who can help him? First, what is missing? What is missing at the end of the sentence? Uh-huh. What punctuation? What do we put to let the other people know that we finished our idea? What is the punctuation that we use? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Very good, David. But now erase an extra comma. Which one? The first or the second one? The second one. Exactly. The second one. So do it, David. Do it again. Come on. I don't want to write, teacher. Come on, David. David, you got to do it, my man. I, when, once again, write it down, the, the, the data once again, please. I did it. You did it? Okay, awesome. There you go. That's nice. And thank you so much, David, to put the T capitalized because, of course, you're starting um, um, a sentence. But at the same time, it's good because we're, we're talking about a Prop name, right? That is the name of the of the date of the week. In this case, it's Thursday. And also, good job, David, on putting the D for December in capitalized. Good job. Because, of course, we're talking about a proper name, right? Which is, in this case, the name of the month that we are. So, good job. Excellent job. Amazing. Very good, David. Very good. I will give you a heart. It's in your heart. Excellent. Good job. Hey, welcome to the jungle. Sorry. <laughs> welcome to the class, Carlita. Welcome to the class, Christian. All righty, Carlos, Janelle, Cody, Nadi, Glendy. There you go. Luis, my <laughs> man, Luis, newbie, and Natalie. Good job. All righty. Thank you so much. Yes. There you go. Almost, almost, Alex. But just erase the second coma. Only the first one. The one after Thursday, between Thursday and December. That's the right one. Good job. Thank you. Hey, let's practice, right? Let's refresh something. Let me ask you something. Can we practice the month of the year right now really quickly? Like, like a fast way? Yes. But, but we're going to do something. You got to be ready when I ask you. Because if I, if if you, like, for example, forgot the name of the, uh, the month, or if you were, like, taking too long or too much time to answer, you lose. Okay, we're going to start from January to December and then we're going to go on the, on the inverse, right? On the opposite way. Ready? Okay. Thank you. So I, I want everybody the microphone on, please. <clears throat> Except for the ones that are driving, of course, or that are at, the, okay. at work. Okay, okay. But the rest of them, please turn it on. Christian and Carlita, please turn it on. Also, Ruth, if it's possible, Janelle. If it's possible, and Mr. Lewis, I know he's driving, but he will be able to answer. David, do not go, my man. Ha <laughs> ha. He's going to Google it. Come on. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just isn't you. Okay, Isa, also put your microphone on. And also Christian and Natalie, if it's possible. And also Carlitos and Claudi. All righty. Are you guys ready? Christian, put your microphone on. Very good. Okay, let me start. Isa, what's the first month of the year? The first month of the year. January. And then Alex. February. 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 Very good. And then David. March. And then Christian. April. Uh -huh. And then Carlita. May. And then uh, I don't know if he was able to uh, to talk. Claudia. 
Uh -huh. And then, Glendy? July. Uh -huh. And then, uh, Isa? June. July, they said. July? After July? August. Uh -huh. And then, Alex? September. Very good. You can say September or September. Okay, both is fine. Yeah, David? September. October. Huh? October. And then, Christian? November. November or November. And finally, Carlita? December. December or December. Either or. Okay, guys. Now we're going to do it one more time. But I want you to be faster. Faster, <coughs> faster, faster. Don't take forever. Okay? So put the microphone on and Isa is going to start. Then we have Saulito. Then we have David. Then Christian. Then Carlita. And then Natalie. Then Claudia. No, then Cloudy. Then Glendy. And finally, we're going back to David. Okay. So you can start, Isa. Go ahead. January. Alex? February. David? March. Carlita? April. Christian? May. Claudy? June. Natalie? July. Mm -hmm. Glendy? August. Very good. David? Sorry. No, uh, you're on. Alex? Mm -hmm. Well, um, I don't know. You were not paying no, attention. No, I lose. Right? I, what was that? September. What was that? September. I go uh -huh. September, Isa, October, and then? November, December. Uh, no, 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 no. You lose. October. <laughs> uh huh. And then, David? November. Uh huh. And then? Carlita? December. All right. Ah, yeah. Ben, you were not paying attention. Ben. Uh -huh. Now, faster. It's start, it's start with you, David. Go ahead. January. Okay, Alex. February. Carlita. March. Christian. April. Isa. Isa. Isaura. May. Okay, <laughs> Natalie. John. Cloudy. July. Glendy. August. All right. Carlita. September. David. October. Alex. November. Christian. December. All right. Then faster. Christian, start. January. Alex. Alex. Uh -huh. ready. David. March. Glendy. April. Mm -hmm. Claudi. May. Very good. Natalie. June. Isa. July. Carlita. August. Glendy. September. Very good. <laughs> David. October. <laughs> Alex. September. October. No, you're wrong. <laughs> uh, Cloudy. November. Aha. Uh -huh. And finally, Christian. December. Very good. <laughs> I have in. You were paying attention now. Vamos a la, vamos a revés. Okay. The, la, the very last one. The, 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 the December a uh, January. Okay. Cloudy. First month. <laughs> December. Okay, Carlita. November. Christian. October. David. David, come August. on. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Alex. <laughs> August. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Isa. July. Very good. Next. Natalie. John. All righty. Uh, 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 Claudie. May. Mm -hmm. Glendy. April. Uh -huh. David. March. Uh -huh. Alex. February. Very good. And finally, Christian. January. All right. Very good. Hoy sí voy a ser más estricta. Si se, si se guardan, aunque sea un segundo, se fregaron conmigo. Okay? There you go. Go ahead. Claudie. First number. Uh -huh. David. November. Carlita. October. Christian. September. Alex. I'll go. Very good. Very good. Isa. 
You lie. Very good, Natalie. John. Very good, Glendy. May. All righty, Maria. I don't know, Maria's here. No, she's not. Yeah, David. April. All right, Alex. March. All right, Carlita. February. Glendy. Glendy. Ah, I should lose. <laughs> <laughs> Isa, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Aha. Uh Aha, -huh. uh -huh, Isa? January. Very good. Aha. Uh -huh. Not too bad, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Ya ven? I, and you were like, I, I imagine you were like doing December, November. You were like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know you, it, this is obviously, right? You're supposed to know that already. But it's really important to memorize it. Like, eh? because sometimes we ended up to forget sometimes. You see, but you already woke up, right? You already have energy. <laughs> All righty. I'm glad so. Let me ask you something. We're going to do some recap today. And then I'm going to ask you to do a role play for the dialogue that we ended up yesterday, right? Remember that you were supposed to be memorize it. Not memorize it, but at least to practice it. Don't look at me with panic, Alex. Don't look at me like that. Don't worry, you, I will give you some time to practice this, okay? All right, let me ask you something, guys, now that we are talking about. Um, I wanna ask you some questions and maybe you can give me some answers. Um, um, let me ask you guys, for example, I wanna know your opinion about these situations. Let me see, let me double check really quickly. Let me go back. All righty. Guys, let me ask you. When you make a mistake in English, would you prefer someone to correct immediately or to ignore it? Uh-huh. What would you prefer? But in my case... <clears throat> Someone correcting you. <laughs> yes. Okay, very good. Is, is everybody has the same opinion about David or you have something else? You prefer to be corrected or you prefer to be ignored when you make a mistake? I prefer to be corrected. Corrected. All right, very good. Now let me ask another question. When you hear a new word in English, would you rather write it down or try to remember it? Try to remember. Try to remember it. What about you guys? What about Carlita, Christian? Buddy, Nutty? If no? I hear if I hear a new word, uh -huh. I, try to, <clears throat> I try to learn in my heart. Ah, okay. But remember if, it. But if I, I watch the, the word, uh -huh. I try to do it down. And... Ah. So it depends. If you hear it, you try to yes. memorize it. If you watch it, you write it down. Oh, yes. that's good. That's good. Okay. What about if you don't understand what someone says? Would you rather ask the person to repeat it or pretend that you understand? <laughs> repeat it. <laughs> repeat it like, ah, yes. And then when they ask you what they said, I don't have a clue. You said, <laughs> right? That happens. Uh, yeah, that happens, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really good too. To basically repeat. But guys, let me give you a tip to sound more polite and to not other people detect that you didn't understand anything. Le voy a dar un tip para que pregunten sin, sin como avergonzarse uno mismo. Por ejemplo, dice, pero si no, híjole, pero ¿y cómo vas a ver si yo no entendí nada? ¿Y cómo le pregunto otra vez sin, sin sonar que, que no entendí ni jota? ¿verdad? Ok, yeah, you can do that. For example, you can say in the polite way, Puedes decir, uh, do me a favor. Could you please be so kind to repeat it one more time? O usted pretenda. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, si alguien le, de, le dio su email address, right? Su correo electrónico. Y esos son email addresses que son inventados, que son como dice, ¿y de dónde de anchas lo sacó? Right? Entonces, dice, ok, let me double check. Let me double check if I got it correctly. Déjeme ver si lo entendí. You said uh, jwdt2023 at yahoo.com. If that's correct, 
they say yes or they say no. Ay, Dios mío. Ah, ok. You don't mind if you, if you repeat it to me alphabetically? Usted no se, no se preocupa, no le preocupa si, o no le, no le importa que me lo repita alfabéticamente y usted le dice, for example, J as in Juliet, J como Julieta, D as in David, dice usted, W as in whiskey, like that. Eso significa que you're going to use the military alphabet. ¿Sí? So don't be afraid, guys, to ask to repeat it. ¿Ok? Pero usted puede ser así como decirle, mire, yo caché esto, esto. ¿Estoy en lo correcto o no? Así suena como que usted did your best, pero no como que de plano no entendió ni otra vez. Porque algo cachó. Right? Like, the, like also the telephone numbers. You said... A four four two four two three three nine two. Is that correct? No, they said it will be two two nine three. Ah, okay, sorry. Or the or yeah, they can say yes. Depends, right? Pero ven como uno puede hacer como una asking a repetition without making you feel like embarrassed or what will make you look silly. Yeah, podría ser, ve. Ya ven. Vaya. Another question. Uh would you prefer guys to speak English with a native speaker? Or with a non-native speaker? With native speaker, not you. With... Ah, so you, you prefer to talk with me? Yes. Ah, okay. Right. Yes, definitely. You know what? I've been listening to English since I'm thir three years old. Yes. For, well, actually, the two languages, Spanish and English, both. I grew up with listening both. At the same time. So sometimes for me, it's really easy peasy queasy to understand things. Or even though the songs in English done in Spanish. I got I caught some information. But if you would like me a, a song or a poem to touch my heart, definitely it will be English. For me, it's more understandable. But in my case. Teacher. Yes, Carlita. No. Do you do you confuse the languages when when you are learning? In when I'm learning, no. But sometimes when I'm speaking, yes. <laughs> Because, for example, um, I'm just starting to speak Spanish. Right? I speak Spanish with my with my husband, but um, then to be honest with you. I for I know how to say that word in in Spanish, but in that moment I totally forgot the word in Spanish. But it came up to my mind a word in English, <laughs> so I tried to use it. Sometimes I use Spanglish. Sometimes, because the problem is that I only speak Spanish with my husband, but I speak English since 6 a.m. in the morning until. 10 and 10.30 with you guys. So English, I speak every single day of my life. So sometimes it's really... And sometimes, you know what? Sometimes I use French words as well because I speak French. So can you imagine? Goodness. You know what, Alex? Talking about that, I remember that when I went to an interview in a call center account, it was a trilingual account. I remember that the interview was in three languages. Can you imagine? But they didn't say, hey, we're going to speak English now. Then we're going to switch the interview to Spanish. Then we switch the interview to French. No, they didn't say that. They started speaking Spanish and then immediately they switch and they start talking in English and they're asking you a question. Then they switch and then start talking in French. And after that, they're returning back to Spanish, back to English like this. So can you imagine my brain had to be like prepared in three spaces, English, Spanish, and French, and then French, English, and the opposite way. That day, I got a headache, <laughs> to be honest with you, because I was switching between three languages. Christian, estoy hablando acerca de lo difícil que es hablar a veces en tres idiomas diferentes. Cuando fue entrevisté una cuenta de trilingüe, me hicieron la entrevista en los tres idiomas, pero no te decían cuándo ibas a cambiar de idioma. Te decían, es que eh, hablaban contigo, de repente hablaban en otro idioma, y de repente en otro idioma, y así. Entonces yo salí con un dolor de cabeza que para qué te cuento. 
imagínate, was not easy, pero la hice, por lo menos, porque en ese tiempo apenas estaba como en el nivel 2 de francés, y pues le hice, fíjate, salí adelante, me puse las pilas, me puse las pilas, y duré seis meses porque después vino la pandemia, <ríe> así que ni modo, ¿verdad? Pero, pero sí, no fue, pero aprendí muchísimo, y estuve hablando el francés canadiense, que es, uff, totalmente diferente al estándar, definitivamente. Pero aprendí algo nuevo, aparte del dolor de cabeza. So you see, it's, it's really important, it's really nice. Now guys, do me a favor. Lo bueno es que mi profesor era francés, pero tenía una, una esposa salvadoreña que se llamaba igual que yo, bien chulo el nombre. <laughs> Entonces, bien chivo porque con él practicaba bastante. Okay, so he was a native French speaker. All right, guys, now let me ask you another thing. When you meet a native English speaker, would you prefer to try to talk to the person or listen while he or she speaks? What do you prefer? For example, you meet someone native from UK, from Australia, from, uh, from the US, and do you prefer to try to speak with them, like practice, right, English with them, or you prefer to listen while that person speaks? What do you prefer? Listen. 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 I know. Me come too. on. You have to be brave to speak with them. Come on. They sometimes they correct yourself and they're nice. You know what I yeah. what I do what do we do appreciate, guys? That um we understand that it's it's really easy when you detect that the person is speaking English and is not the native speaker. We detect it like that. But we really appreciate it when you guys trying to do an effort to communicate with us because we know that you're learning and we know that it is a little bit hard for you, but you're doing your best. So that make us feel good. When you're trying to like, ah, okay, I don't know a lot of English, but well, I can try to do my best to speak with that person. Yeah, it's really nice. We really appreciate it. I'm so happy when I listen to you speak English. I'm so happy. They said, ah, those are my babies. Woohoo! Good job. All righty, let me ask you another question. Um, when you have to contact someone in English, would you rather do it by phone or writing? Let's say that you writing. got a phone. <laughs> Huh? Writing. <laughs> writing. <laughs> writing. Okay. What about my phone? Come on. No? No. no. I feel very nervous. When, nervous? Okay. When... So, if, so if you would like to apply for a call center uh, position, you would prefer to look for chat account than yes. customer service account. <laughs> yes, I will like. <laughs> you will like it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I know. I know it's hard. I prefer to speak. You prefer to speak. They, they so, chat, yeah, yeah. So, so Alex should be a customer service agent. And Isa and David and the rest of you chats. Hey, but you but you know what? There is a difficulty in chats. Because um, not only you need to write it correctly, that's why I, I, I'm i like, use the comma, punctuation, because you need to write correctly. But at the same time, you don't have one chat. Sometimes you have four chats open with a different situation and that is a challenging because you gotta be like this that's why guys we are practicing like listening writing at the same time or reading with you because you gotta be multitasking because you gotta do three things at the same time or two sometimes four things sometimes you're listening to that person you are trying to focus on what they're saying you're trying to find a solution for what I, you already know what it's about Then you're trying to look for information on the page. And at the, and, you're, and at the same time, you're taking notes on your notepad, right? So you're doing four things at the same time. It's complicated. But when you practice, it's really easy for you. So you see, that's why I make you do that. Sometimes you want to kill me, but you'll see. You will learn. It. <laughs> All right, guys. So let me do something. So that, yes, uh, Alex, tell me. me. When, when we write, we got to write a teach. Not in English or Spanish? No, in English, my man. English. English. Oh. Yes, of course. You know oh, what? Okay. That That's why I always have 
for example, a notepad opened or a word mm -hmm. or a sticky notes, you, because when you work in a call center, you're not allowed to have any paper, any paper or any pencil. Everything is via, P, via the PC, via the system on the computer. So yeah. you got to open the notepad and start writing notes. And for example, when you're already used to it, what kind of calls you got, you already you can make like your um like a small presentation already in, in, in notepad. For example, when you can set customer's name, customer phone number, email address, what what you ask at the beginning of the calls, right? And you just enter all the information because then when you finish the call, you can just go to the account of the person you were speaking to, just copy and then paste. And you already got the info the notes that you need supposed to leave on the on every single call and at the same time you are working on your acw that is after call work that means that the minutes or the times that you have when you finish your call to put the notes and then to be ready to take the other call that is coming so you're working with your acw that is that you're working with your whole time and you're working with that aht the that is the, the total, uh, the time total talk with that person, including ACW and hold. So if you just do that, you're going to basically have all the skills on target. Because depends for the account, you have a specific time in total or average numbers for hold, for ACW, and for AHT. And of course, the first time you're going to have like, five minutes or 10 minutes, right? Depends for the account that you work for. But if you start doing that, taking notes on the notepad, and then you copy and paste it, you will be decreasing, decreasing those numbers that the account asks you, because it depends for your account, you have your own metrics that they evaluated, including a uh, quality. So you're going to decrease it, and then you will improving and improving and improving to become a better agent chat or customer agent, whatever. And then that will help you not only your own numbers, but also your team numbers. And that one will qualify you to basically get an extra bonus. Because for example, if you have your metrics on target, depends for that account. Sometimes they do a bonus in quality, a bonus on your metric. And at the end, you get an extra bonus besides your salary. You see, so if you're trying to to do the practices right now, like I'm teaching you, you will be learning fast. That's why I send you this dictation information thanks to Luis, right? I know it's hard to understand that person. Today I'm going to send you an email addresses, okay? So you can practice. Yeah, yeah. practicing. Yeah, <clears throat> maybe we can learn. To do yes. the exactly yeah, you can practice it it's really important and guys i'm going to send you an information that please try to get to know or get familiar with military alphabet okay este, pónganse eh, traten de familiarizarse con el vocabulario el alfabeto militar <laughs> alfabeta see ¿sí? fox trade delta mm -hmm. oscar que rebeca yonel creo que se lo sabe muy bien Así que de plano hasta sueña con ellos. Pero why is really important? Porque that, um, that, that, that alphabet, I can say yes, that alphabet es como, ¿cómo le puedo decir? Como base. Base para poder comunicarse usted con otra persona. Porque imagínese, usted entiende, usted habla con un hindi, usted habla con un chinese, y usted dice, Padre Santo, no le entiendo ni jota. Pero si usted, por ejemplo, le dice, can you spell your name? Can you spell your first name? Can you spell your email address in an alphabet way? Y usted le da un ejemplo. J as in Juliet. ¿Sí? Que es parte del, del alfabeto militar. D as in David. O no, o D as in de Delta. Es el Delta. Y usted le dice, ah, Delta. Es algo que, aunque usted no sepa tal vez muchas palabras, en inglés, y a la persona tal vez le cueste un poco expresarse en inglés porque no es su idioma, ¿verdad? Pero es algo que están como en el mismo nivel 
y les va a ayudar muchísimo a no cometer errores. Porque imagínese usted pone, usted le dice es, es, le dicen a usted. Pero usted dice, ¿dijo es o dijo f? Eso es algo que uno se confunde, ¿verdad? O por ejemplo, en vez de sí, a veces usted oye d o t o p. Y usted dice, Padre Santo, ¿y cuál de todas son? Entonces usted dice, ¿es esa sin sierra? ¿O F as in Foxtrot? ¿Sí? Entonces dice, ah, F as in Foxtrot. Ah, entonces era F. O por ejemplo, si usted dice de B, B as in Bravo, ¿O V as in Victor? ¿Sí? T as in Tango. Y si de plano a veces en tango no entienden, usted use una palabra sencilla, como tía sin tomato, por ejemplo. Pero primero trate de irse con el military alphabet, ¿sí? Entonces, si usted lo ocupa y usted lo, lo llega a entender, it will be really easy no cometer mistakes. Imagínese que usted trabaja en un account que tiene que ver con credit cards, que tiene que ver con purchases, y usted se lo manda a alguien que no es. O reservations, the hotel, the, um, the airplanes, or the airlines. Y usted le manda el boleto de confirmación a alguien que no es. Ya le arregó. Entonces, that's why it's really important to learn it by heart. Se lo voy a mandar hoy y también les voy a mandar el dictation video para que you practice. You practice the um, how to get to know email addresses. ¿Le parece? Yep. Awesome. Okay, so go back to business. Gracias, Christian. Christian estaba durmiendo. <laughs> okay, let me just play the audio one more time, guys, for the dialogue that we practiced yesterday. I'm going to play it one more time so you can get familiar with the pronunciation, with the intonation, etc. And then I'm going to select two pairs or up to three pairs, depends, to practice it. Okay, let me just share right now my screen. Y a ver qué vale no va. Are you ready? Hello, are you guys ready? Yes. Okay. All right, that's what I need. All right, let's listen, guys. 52, exercise five, listening, just for fun. Part A. Listen to three people talk about the part-time courses they took recently. What course did each person take? One, Linda. So, Linda, what have you been doing with yourself? Not much. Oh, wait, that's not true. I took this great dancing class last semester. Oh. I think that's not the one, right? What do you think? Esa era, teacher. Esa no era, vea. No. <laughs> y nadie me dijo nada. Qué barbaridad. Like, what? What is it, teacher? Yo le dije, a veces ya el jueves el hamster no funciona. Uh, well, I think you, you, you changed it. Pobre teacher. Quiz me. Que increíble. Vaya, voy, espérame tantito. All righty. Ajá, ajá, ese era cabal. Ya ven que pobre de ese teacher, que increíble. Ajá, ajá. Es, ya decía yo, ¿por qué no era ese? Ajá. Hay teacher, hay teacher, no, excuse me. Here you go. Ajá, uh -huh. this is the one. <laughs> Oops. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Déjame ver, ok. Ahí démosle aquí. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Page 50. Ok, there you go. Hoy sí. Démosle, pues. Y ayúdeme, oigan, por favor, qué barbaridad. Pobre hamster ya no funciona. There you go. Okay. Two, exercise eight, conversation. Maybe I should try that. Part A, listen and practice. So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, I imagine it takes a while to get it right. You know... You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? 
I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm. Maybe I should try something like that. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me send it right now through the WhatsApp. No. Ah, there you go. Just give me a couple of minutes. Let me just send it to you really quickly. Get your, yes. Would you like me to play it one more time or that's okay? Hello? Hello? One more time. One more time? One, one more time. Okay. Let's do it one more time. Okay. Let me just play it one more time. All right. Page 52, exercise 8, conversation. Maybe I should try that. Part A. Listen and practice. So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, I imagine it takes a while to get it right. You know, you could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm. Maybe I should try something like that. All righty. I'm sending it to you right now. Let me know once you get it, please. Did you receive it already? Yes, you did? Yep. Let me know if you receive it via WhatsApp. No. No yet? I just sent it. No. Right. No? Are you sure? Let me check. Did I send it to somebody else? No, of course. Oh, let's see. What about now? Yes. Yeah? Okay, awesome. Okay, so you have it there. Let me just pick somebody right now. Let's see. Volunteers? Okay, Jonelle and Alex. Okay, let me just share right now my screen so you can see it directly here, okay? Just give me a couple of minutes. All righty. Okay. Alex, you're going to be on you. <laughs> I Hopefully I pronounced it correctly. <laughs> Janelle, you're going to be Kelly. Okay. Man should try that. It's scenario number one. Action. Go ahead. So how's your French class going? Janelle? No bad, but I'm finding this pronunciation difficult. Well, I mind it takes a while to get it right. You know, you could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea, but I now do learn new vocabulary. I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on piece of paper and ticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Maybe I should have tried something like that. Very good, guys. Good job. Good job on like, mm, maybe Thank I should you. try something like that. Good job on the pronunciation of the question. Hey, I'm going to congratulate you, Alex. You Good job on joining the, um, the words where they're supposed to be. Now you don't Thank sound you. like, uh, 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 you sound more fluently. That's what I need. Good job, Alex. 
Good job. Thank you. Good job, Janelle. Woohoo! David, you want to try? David, my man, David. David, where are you, my friend? Yeah, teacher. Okay, David and Carlita. Okay, action. Okay. David, you start. Yes. Uh... <laughs> okay. Oh. So, how is your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, I imagine it takes a while to get it right. You know, you can improve your accent by listening to languages. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words based Writing them and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Um, maybe I should write something like that. Very good job. Good job. Solo que Mr. David no te vaya dándole vuelta por otro lado porque a veces se te cortaba la... Como que se oía que te ibas lejos. But that's okay. Sorry, teacher. Sí. Sorry, teacher. I have a sore throat. Ah, vaya, pues está bueno. Ay, I have a soft voice. I see, come on, no. <laughs> but that's okay, David. Good job. Good job, both of you guys. Good job on the pronunciation. Good job on the intonation. Muy bien. More self confidence. Eso me gusta. Very good job. Y ya no se me traban tanto de forget new words. You're like, sound more natural. Good job. Y el, the last but not least, Christian, you want to try? ¿Quieres probar, Christian? Yes. Ok, yo creo que on you y vamos a ver a quién te vamos a poner. Ah, a la a Isaura, vaya. Ok. Go ahead, you start. So, how are your French class going? Isaura. No, but, but I am finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, I mean, I mean it takes a while to get it right. Hell not. You call in pro your accent by listening to language series. That's a good idea, but how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. And learn new English word best by writing thing of piece of paper and sticking on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Mm, maybe I should try something like that. Very good job. Good job, both of you. Muy bien, Christian. More self-confidence me llega. Solo que muy serio cuando estás diciendo los consejos. Qué barbaridad. Mm. Soy así serio. <laughs> Pero they're very good. Good job. Solo, guys, que for everybody, let's practice some pronunciation for some words. Nada más. Accent. Repeat after me. Accent. 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 Improve. 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 Vocabulary. Vocabulary. <laughs> Them. 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 Pieces. Pieces. Uh -huh. Pieces. All right. A sticking. 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 Things. 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 Again, improve. 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 Accent. 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 Vocabulary. 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 Them. 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 Pieces. 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 Sticking. 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 Things. 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 Very good job. Things. Acuérdense, Things. chicos, que cuando hay una TH, es como una feta. ¿Sí? Things. Thank you. Yes. Pero acuérdense que cuando una PH es como una F. Y no se me coman las S. Things. Right? Ok. Accents. Accent es acento. Cuando hay una CC junto, se, se escucha como una X. En ese caso, aunque hay dos Cs, pero usted no dice accent, accent o accent. Es accent. Sí, como una X. Very good. Good job. Excellent. Muy bien, guys. Vaya, ve. Así hemos hecho como un recap de lo que hemos visto so far. Les voy a mandar algo para que ustedes escriban. Pero, now let me ask you a few questions to start the topic. The topic that we're about to see. A ver, dime algo. Ustedes, 
ya han pedido, ya han este, buscado servicios, por ejemplo, servicios de limpieza de casa, financings, clothings, si tiene mascota, pet sitting, computer services, o home repair. ¿Ya han ido a buscar ese tipo de servicios? ¿Qué servicio de esos han usado ustedes? Computer services. Computer services. ¿Cuál más? I work like a janitors and services. Ajá. Ajá. So we'll be like you know. cleaning services, right? Yeah. Ajá. Very good. ¿Qué tal si, por ejemplo, you were driving y se le quedó la llave del carro adentro? Is that how it happened to you? ¿Quién, ¿Quiénes manejan? Who can drive? Me. You. Who has cars? Or, my, or, or motorcycle? You. Mm. Ah, motorcycle. Ajá. ¿Ya les ha pasado que se les quedó la llave del carro adentro? Jonel, tell me the truth. No, that's great. I have a copy. You have a copy on your wallet, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what? But no, you learned. But in my case, that. I learned that after that had happened to me. <laughs> so I, I got a call, right? I got a call for and asked for the service, right? And who who you have pets? Who have pets? Dog, cats? Cat. Cat. Okay. Have you asked for a pet sitting? You know what pet sitting is? I'm going to write it down. Pet sitting. Oop, no, waiting, not sitting like S. Pet sitting, you know what that means? You know what baby sitting is? The baby person who yeah. takes care of the babies, right? Like the nanny. So the pet sitting like is the pet nanny sitting. for pets. Like okay. dogs, like cats. Have you asked for that? When you travel, for example, no, 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 Natalie, no, no, no. In my case, yes, <laughs> but not for a place. I have a um a friend who is like I think is a little bit um like Isabel. I think Isabel, you are eighteen years old, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, so my friend is is. I think one year older than Isabel. She lives nearby, so she is my pet babysitter. She's my pet sitter. She takes care of the two dogs and one cat. Because I have two baby dogs and one cat. Whiskey, who's 11 years old. Chestnut, that he's like four and he's Whiskey's son. But he doesn't look like him. He looks more, more like his mommy with the body and structure of Whiskey's grandpa, and Sassy, that she's a, a baby girl. That's the baby girl of the house. She's a, she's a cat, but she's a, like a tiger cat. And she's so mean, you cannot imagine. <laughs> All righty. She has brought me a, a, a verse as a present. Can you imagine? Ugh. All righty. So I asked for babysitting, for pets sitting in this case. Mm, what about guys? Financing services. Have you asked for financing services? No? I don't know. Like if you would like, for example, to purchase a card or to purchase a house, but you don't have enough money for that? No? Nothing? We have a we have financing institutions here in El Salvador, right? Yeah, the banks. The banks. Call, but yeah, but call, there's another for, ones. For credit. Or credit. Yeah, There's so like um, Cosabi, I think, is one of them, but it's not a bank. Yeah, Cosabi here is a credit credit. Exactly. Or... Credit yeah. cashier institute. A credit cash ca institute. What about, uh, what's the name of that place that gives you or lends you money to buy a house? I forgot. Here in El Salvador, we have an institution like that. Let's see. What's the name of that place? In good name, I forgot. And it's and it's really known. Do you remember? Fondo Alan? Social. Ah, yes, exactly. Thank you, Carlita. Yes, the Fondo, right? Also lends you money if you would like to buy, for example, a house, right? Okay, there you go. 
So none of you have uh, basically asked for that service. Okay, good, good. What about guys, language tutoring? Tutor de lenguaje? Or maybe math? Or medicine or biology? You can pick. No? Okay. What about moving services? Have you ever moved from one house to another? Ya se han movido de casa? Yeah? Have you asked or, or to get information about moving services? Alguien que te ayude a mover tus cosas? No. Yes, yes, right. We have asked. Porque no sé ustedes, pero hasta que uno se mueve, ve cuántos tilinches tiene, right? And you said like, damn, I only, I'm only one person singular and I have, I don't have any idea, idea how many things I got, how many things I have. And sometimes eh, you are willing to donate it. Sometimes you got to get rid of it, right? I remember when my mother passed away and I got to go to her house to look for the, for her things. She was all, only one person, only her. But you cannot imagine how many things she is still she was keeping. I have to like provide uh, to to sell some things. I need to like give it a uh, bets, right, and, and things like that to another person. But I still had to like request to do like a little. Uh, how can I say it in Spanish? What's the name of this in Spanish? Bodega. A little bodega, right? Um, because I need to like keep some things that I was not able to get rid of. Y la bodega está llena, topadita. And I was thinking, it was only her. Y increíble cuántas chunches tenía esta señora. That's amazing. Can you imagine? Yeah, hey, chunches. I like that word, chunches. I like it. Yeah, because you can use it in, in in every moment, right? If, for example, you don't remember the name of the word, si tú no te, 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 te acuerdas del nombre de la, del objeto, tú dices chunche y te salvaste. <laughs> and that's what I like. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Chunche, cuenterete, volado, what else? Uh-huh, exactly. That's why I love... Salvador en Spanish, pero no crean, es para alguien extranjero es bien complicado, eh, especialmente para un americano entender todas esas modalidades regionales que uno tiene en el Salvador es complicadísimo. Y dice que es chunche, y usted dice un volado. <risa> Es un cuenterete, right? That's amazing. Y, incluso tú no sabes ni cómo explicarlo. I, I'm happy. Pero me llega porque así me salvo de algunas cosas que no sé ni cómo se dicen. Pero yo, ah, yes, me salvé. You see? It works. <laughs> ya me maté. Ya me quemé yo sola. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Ah, you see? Yeah, it works. A mí por lo menos me encanta eso. Una vez, yo tenía un profesor de francés que llegó súper cansado, pero súper cansado, y, y así sudando, sudando, al que les contaba que tenía una, una esposa salvadoreña, y entonces se le vio, el carro se le había arruinado, y yo estaba en la clase, estaba en recepción, y cuando lo vimos, dice, qué increíble, hoy me tocó pesado, me tuve que venir a pata, y nosotros, what did he say a pata? ¡Ah! Nunca había pensado en tu vida que un hombre tan alto o chele o azul y toda la cosa atlético, le hubiera decir pata, yo ya está salvadoreño, ya se fue salvadoreño y yo, yeah, Dios y otros, Tomás, dijiste pata pues sí, no se dice así pues pero yo me feliz porque dijo pata que yo imagine eso sí, ser salvadoreño de corazón <risa> so, so happy about it. le gustaba la horchata el fresco carao, la pupusa de papelito de cochinito, y era 100% fan de la alianza, ¿va? ¿Qué más salvadoreño? Of course, right? Right? You see? Ya ve, David, pero si da alguien más. <laughs> All right. You see? Teacher, Demi. Teacher, 
chuña, he visto cuando andan descalzos. Ah, sí, chuña. I like that. Yeah. En inglés se dice barefoot, guys. Barefoot. ¿Se recuerdan la canción de Air Sheeran? ¿Sí? Aquí dice I find a love. Mm -hmm. Listen, that one. The most common one. Ahí hay una parte que dice barefoot. Eso significa descalzo. O en salvadoreño, chuña. <laughs> you see? New language. David, memorize it. Memorize it. All righty. Hey, time is over. Guys, mañana, tomorrow, we're going to get, we're going to do two things. Tomorrow, guys, is going to be basically grammar classes. Grammar. We're going to talk about um how, when you're talking about a service that you request, like the one that we were talking about, cleaning, tutoring, and everything, you can use get and have those are the two main verbs that you're going to use uh, in an acting and passive way we're going to learn how to do that because of course you for example you go to another country and you need to ask for those kind of services so you need to know how to ask that we're going to also learn vocabulary so you can have more vocabulary that you can use if you have to basically ask for cleaning repairs house house um i don't know How's investigating or clothing preparing, something like that, or pet sitting. Y también vamos a empezar a ver algo que a mí me fascina. ¿Saben qué son? Los phrasal verbs. Me fascinan. Hay two word verbs, que son los más comunes, pero esta vez vamos a ver los three word verbs. Y usted dice, Padre Santo. Yes, yeah, don't worry. Ya van a ver. No son muchos, son pocos, pero vamos a ver how you use them y cómo lo constructan. Porque hay unos que pueden usarse pronombres en medio y hay algunos que en el pastel, sino que hasta el final. Entonces, vamos a ver todo eso. No se preocupen, oigan. Así que prepárense y un coffee a la par. Si buple. <laughs> All righty. Thank you so much for being today's class, guys. Hats and kisses. Have an amazing night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher.